Hey guys, and welcome. My name's NG Paradox, and welcome back to the Docs series, where we're continuing as Tybalt Docs, kind of continuing kind of the mundane life of a Lord Paramount. You know, after all the craziness of, with blood and fire, um, it's kind of weird going back to just being a, a normal Lord Paramount. It feels weird, but that's where we are at the moment. And in a way, it's kind of nice. It's a nice change of pace, going from all of that, just the... So much stress. So much stress we were having. Uh, primogeniture succession. I'm uh, again in charge. 37%. We need a bit more help from this. Now, obviously, we could try and get some allies to come join us, which I think would be the best thing to do. How about we look through the candidates? Now, Pentos is actually the strongest. Really? I'm actually the second strongest. We're doing pretty good at the moment, then. Huh. Who would have thought it? So we got Pentos. I don't think Pentos is in the faction. Pentos has their own one, overthrow the monarchy of the Iron Throne. Which uh, I'm not particularly keen on myself. So I don't feel the need to bring him to this one. He's already in his own faction. Um, Vardis. Let's look for one who's not in. Leopold. It looks like the Aaron is not. Everyone else, though, is for the king. Damn it. Most of them, at least. Most people are. Um, so we're going to try and bring the Reach in. Get, get a feeling of deja vu right now. <laughs> but yeah. Turn into that. Done. Uh, we also need to, I think, choose a commander. We have our two bodyguards, our two pincers, as I like to call them. Uh, Mr. Sarsfield. A lot more no commanders. Sarsfield again can be our commander. Uh, Poliver Docks. You're craven, but you are a doc, so yeah, that puts you in good stead. Another Sarsfield. So Sarsfields, Sars, Sarsfields are going back in my esteem after the long, you know, history of my family taking his family's land. You know, it's kind of peaceful now. They've not really done much bad to us, so I, I can forgive them for letting us take their lands. That 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 doesn't. That sounds, I feel like we're the bad guys here in this situation, but yeah, not many people are willing to support this idea. Maybe people have fallen out of love with the gardeners. I thought people loved the gardeners. It seems there is not any more. A new septon. Okay, so we need to go get a new septon. Uh, convert to religious culture. No, 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 no. Uh, local religion. No, we, we definitely need to change the religion in our land. Where's the courtier? Oh, yeah, there we go. New courtier. A holy man. What did we get? This guy's not so good. Okay, he's not going to manage to be able to change our people back to uh, the faith of the seven. He's not going to be able to convince them. The people are too fond of Roller. They saw the glory of the dragons, of Dox's riding dragons. And people in Casterly Rock still remember those days. It's hard to forget. I have to admit, it's hard to forget. But probably now is better. How is the, uh, the voting going? You can see here. Leobold the Hunter, Durandon. Number one at the moment. Just now is the Regent. Now, you're a very ambitious man. It feels a bit... He's the Spy Master, though. How old's my son? Four years old. There's a good chance that could happen. Especially with him being my Spy Master and being ambitious. That that does seem... Uh... Yeah. I'm sort of proposition, but... But... You can be the master of the hunt. Isn't that so much better? Congratulations. Uh, we'll just make my wife the regent. Do I have a brother? Do I have a brother? No, of course I don't have a brother. Do I Do I have an uncle or someone still alive? We have a couple of aunts. Okay, I'll just make my wife it for now. There we go. That'll keep her happy. Maybe she'll give me more babies. How old is she? She's only 23. We have lots of time. She has lots of time to give me babies. I'm 40. Jeez, I'm I'm t almost 20 years older than she is. Tybalt, you. You see what a dragon scales has died in Hong Kui. Apparently just one day fell asleep. A legend fades. That's a pretty old dragon, actually. Phew. Uh, child of that dragon. There's a lot of dragons off in the west, which uh, yeah, we don't know. Sorry, off in the east. In the lands of the Yai Tai, dragons coming from the east. Where did they come from? No one knows. No one has any idea. Who would have thought this was the Aegon Conquest storyline? 
He's just reached their claim to my titles. Robin Lannister is sending men. They're always going to have or not be inherited by a successor. Okay. Maybe finally it will end. For so long I've had to fight bloody Lannister claimants all the time. All the bloody time. Tyon, Jason Lannister, he also has a claim. We're not, I think this is the part where they're going to start not getting it anymore. Jesus, they've had these claims for a long time. Look at that. It goes all the way back to him. Jesus. But yeah. I don't think he's going to get enough men. People quite like me. People love me. I'm a kind man, so I won't go kill him. We're not going to assassinate him. It's just not the man Tybalt is. He's more of a fighter. He wants to face them one-to-one. -one, a bit more honourable in a way. But he is ambitious. And he's a bit slothfully. He would rather not do stuff, to be perfectly honest. Really, the only thing he's good at is fighting. The skilled fight is the only thing he's actually good at. But I think slothfulness is probably hurting that. Uh, choose to educate. How I want to educate my son, Norwin. Now, Norwin's actually really good at diplomacy thanks to his attractive. He's not really good at fighting. So, educate at court, I guess. Probably best thing to do. Spend highly, of course. The best education for my little boy, Norwin. Named after the bastard docks. Norwin, he was a good man for our family. He served us faithfully, even though he was a bastard and he got nothing. He got no inheritance. Can you believe it? It's crazy. It's crazy. But yeah, he gets nothing. So sad. Vardis the Handsome of Co What the? What is this? What is this? What is this? We can't, we can't have this. Dawn, give me that back. Go to war. Nah. 13,000 men, though. I do feel that's worth fighting over, to be honest. I've got about 3,000 men. These loyalists, crown loyalists, we're not going to have any problems there, really. No one's joining primogeniture succession. Yeah, that's never going to happen, is it? Huh. Should I declare war against Dawn? I think we should. What allies do you have? He's a friend. I declare war. I'm upset. This is mine. I have rightful claims to this. This should be mine. Who controls this right now? A half on. Skilled fighter, very good marshal. And we should invite the Reach to join us. Then it would be we'd be unstoppable. Raise the bannerman. And the ironborn are here, which I did not see. So that's even another that's another reason to uh, raise the men. You guys go that way. Uh, everyone else, you will meet here. And you guys will just wait for these guys to come save you. But yeah. So we're going to take that back from Dawn. What was that? Jaswell died. Honor your obligation. Thank you, Reach. So the Reach is going to honor his obligation and join my fight, of course. He has 35,000 men. This, is, this basically has to be us. There's no way we can lose this. Look at little Dawn. Little Dawn on its own. I mean, obviously that's not the whole thing. And the Ironborn have ran away. Of course they did. We're just going to go down here. We're going to take that back. I'm going to let the Reach fight for us. I mean, the Reach should be able to handle this. Dawn is getting his men together. Prince Maron, Illyrian. He's a, he's a, a duelist. He's brave. You know, he's not one to turn down a fight. But he has no children. 21 years old wife. Okay, she's like she's over 30 years younger than him, so mine doesn't seem so bad anymore. His inheritor would be a Grandison girl. And she has boys that are Caswells. Huh. Interesting. That should fall. What is that fall? I'll let the Reach go fight. Oh, what is... Warrior's Sons? What the hell did you just do? Revolt against the rule of Lord Omer. So, does he just control the land? I think he just controlled the land anyway. Yeah, I think he just had the land under him there anyway. But the warrior's sons are basically underneath the king. Now they're underneath uh, Omer the Reach. So, Commander Adam the Monk. Adam Hunt. Would be a grim, strong, some pretty good fighters there. So, that's not good. He's my ally. He's going to have to face a few problems then. I'm sure he can handle it. I'm sure he can handle it. It's fine. Face the dragon, of course. 
<laughs> I'm not going to face the dragon. Sadly. I know some people probably want me to, but I'm, I'm fine. Hey, go chase after those 500 men. Don't let them get away. This should be pretty easy, so I'm not really, I'm not really bothered about this war too much. Because we should have more than enough men to defeat them. In fact, those guys got caught by Clegane men. Tending the wounds of the people. Winter is coming to an end. Lovely. And there's 10,000 Reachmen. Just head to the borders to come there. You guys will get ready just in case they come by sea. We have a few Dornishmen come from the lands up here. Other than that, not too much though. I do love the warrior sons that are here. Do they control that? They don't control that. But he is fighting against it. Hewitts. And we should capture that any moment now. 12,000 men coming from Dawn over here. So they're going to come from this way, it looks like. We should be able to see them come across, because obviously we're allied to the Reach. The Reach have 10,000 men going in, but that's not going to be enough. Does he not have more men? It's 23,000 men. Why are they all coming from up north? What were you doing up north? If you get us 3,000 men in as well, you'll have enough to be able to take on the Dornish, at least this part. Plus, they're going to fight anyway. You would like to come work for me, Stademan. Ooh, definitely. Uh, we want good men. I'm going to surround myself with good men. We're going to make you my other bodyguard. To be perfectly honest. That guy's much better, but I'm going to make him my other bodyguard. Um, this guy is crazy, so I'll keep it as it is. Uh, minor titles, that's it. So I'm, I'm going to keep jumping between, between different versions of the game at the moment, so it does make it a bit confusing. Uh, Ralph Stademan. Where did our other bodyguard go? Huh. Interesting. Did... Nope. Where did he go? Oh, no. Okay, so we've got him as our other part. Ralph Stimmon, 28 years old. Young man. <laughs> Sorella Hill. She is favoured by Rollo, so Rollo will help her fight. My lord, I've been the employee. You'd like to come work for me as well. Good spy master, but you're craven. My spy master's good as well. No, I, I have a good spy master anyway. They're going to lose, of course, but they did a good fight. Then they killed quite a few Dornish, so, you know, that's good for me. That'll be good for us in the end. High Setson has died. Lena Ray died of poor health. Ah. So that means her daughter now has Red, Re Red, Re Red Rain. Jesus, I apologize. I've been recording a lot today, so. My pronunciation is basically dead. We'll leave these men to just wait here. Just in case the Dornish come. Winter has come to an end. And the, the 10,000 men are coming. Oh, they're going down. Nope, they're going down. That's fine by me. As long as they're not in my land. Promise to counter potentially strong-armed. Threaten the noble. Yes, let's get the, the Vale to join our faction, of course. Maybe he'll join, maybe he won't. Uh, Tumbleton has gone against them. The Stricklands. I obviously stand together with you and your confederates. Thank you. A wise choice. Now, who will educate my son, Norwin? He's someone who's very good at diplomacy. Lorea. Now, she's got Rolla worshipping. We don't want to go back to that, maybe. Probably don't. It's like no one's particularly good, though. Apart from her. Learning, then? Uh, the Red Priest. Everyone who's good at learning is uh, people who believe in the faith of Rolla. That's that's not good at all. I'm going to find someone outside the realm. What about the king? King's not so good at that sort of thing. Do I have any friends or... I have a friend. Uh, Jarella Corn uh, of Crackhall. She's a skilled fighter. She's okay at a lot of stuff. I think she could be good for him, actually. She's a friend, after all. Let's do that, then. Can you educate my son? No, not your children. I want you to keep my children. Yourself. Yes. Okay. She's a skilled fighter after all. And I'm a skilled fighter as well. Um, train my children. Yes. Where well, you could have trained children. 9% chance. Let's make a Ralph fit my bodyguard. Because he'll be amazing at this. 8%? Are you kidding me? You got an 8%? But you're a skilled fighter. One second. 
Okay, let's click that off. Let's make sure it wasn't just a glitch because I did it. No. Really? What about sand of pain? Nine. Okay. I have no idea. 6%. Okay, okay. <laughs> They're going to be very upset because I keep swapping them around. But yeah. Okay. You're probably the best then, Sander, which is kind of weird. I expected it to be the other guy. Okay, but all of us trying to train my child to be good at fighting. That should work out well, I think. Uh, 12,000 Reachmen here. Norman Docks. Yep, you got an educator. Uh, we can force train you when you're a little bit older. All these people together should be able to make him a great man. I think it'll work out. Maybe. So Dawn are going back for more men, it looks like. Oh, they're just going all the way back. I don't know. Oh, they're being attacked. Marais host. Let's have a look. Marais Marta Marais Sand. She's attacking. She's the daughter of Darren the Sand Ship. The Sand Ship. Is that because he has lots of bastards or something? I, I have no idea. That is a weird name. But yeah. Marais Sand. Maybe. I have no idea. The sand ship sounds really weird. Unless he would sail a lot. He's been uncooperative, apparently. Not good. Not good at all. This was going to have to continue. How's the faction looking? So we got the veil in now, so we just need someone else. A lot of people, though, in that faction. The Great, Oma, the Reach, Hunter, Stormlands, the Stormlands, and the Nice Watcher. We could probably get the North and the Riverlands involved. Yeah. Let's go for the North and Riverlands then. I think the Riverlands have better control. 36,000 men. Yeah, look look at the North. Yep, they've definitely got better control. The North is uh, a bit of a mess right now. War for the North. Lawrence the Just. Joseph the Rash Stark. Ah. And his heir would be Rodwell. Okay. And uh, moving on. Victory. Is that this? You can actually just attack that one. And then just siege out that one. There we go. Now we're not gonna I'm not really going on the attack. I'm just kinda of waiting for them to come to me. Sixteen. So I'm hoping they just go through the reach and just get attacked by the reach and stuff. Not particularly bothered. Plus I guess I have to win though, because I can't go for white piece. Maybe I should just go on the attack now. But 22,000 Reachmen are coming down. Oh, that's the Iron Throne, it would seem. I have to tell the difference here. Just for a peasant revolt. That's going to hang out down in Dawn. I, I can wait. I'm just going to keep taking this. I don't care, Dawn, Martells. You can do what you want. Nice to go and attack them at the rate they're going. That they won't... They Look! They're stuck! They're in the, I'm not going to attack them in the mountains. Don't be dumb. Ridiculous. I'm going to just get a ship and just sail around and attack their capital. I mean, is he at home? No, he is leading the men in Prince's Pass. What are you doing, sir? I think the AI is confused because there's an army attacking their home here. And then we're attacking them up. You know, they want to come to attack me. So they want to come attack me. They want to defend. So they're kind of confused about what's best. You would like to educate my son. From hip decline, no. My son's already a poor fighter. He's already doing a good job. Look, he's six. He's already a poor fighter. That means he's doing a good job right now. We're doing a good job at educating. We don't need your help, King. My friend is looking after him. I trust her. I'm a nice man. I really have to... I think I'm just going to have to send down a fleet once we captured this because I can't dare to just watch this just continue forever. I guess these guys would win at some point. That's, that, that's a point. Then again, I have to go to war with them then after. Jesus. Okay, victory. 48%. So that's been taken. Okay, let's get some ships then. And let's just head off. 10. 200. That is probably enough. We'll send those guys all there. Okay, we'll just send 19,000 because that's all we probably need to take them on. If they come and attack us with their men finally, we'll have enough to defeat them. The Reach has finally won its war. Omer has won. His wife is still not pregnant. She's only 15. They've only been married for a short amount of time, but he's got a lot of pressure on him. 
There is another brother, of course, Prince Humphrey at the moment. I guess it's not all terrible for him. Ooh, Pentos is now... If we can just get the Riverlands to join, that would probably be enough to attack. Yes, it probably would be. Yep, definitely. We have the most the three strongest men on our side. Okay. Good, good, good. That will be good. So we just need to get them. We've got the guy there trying to get them to come. Come over here. We're going to join their ships, apparently, with the host's fleet. All the ships together. All enemies of dawn. Floating together in harmony. Who would have thought? There's some men over here. I don't know what they're trying to plan to do. Obviously planning something cunning. I wonder. Oh, the Reach has actually got some votes now. Which I have not seen gain any. See word that dragon has died. Another dragon in the same place. Legend fades. A brother to Scales, apparently. Or sister. I don't know. Scales the Shadow, though, is known as. And our ship is already there. Okay, get the best men in charge. Polyvodox. The best man money can buy. Former Sarsfield. And... Brian of Case. Send those guys. Brian of Case? He's a dox. Lunatic dox, but still a dox. What's this? Face the dragon. Yes, of course. We need some more commanders, apparently. Two more, actually. Uh, Joffrey and... Ralph. Ralph is doing a lot of things right now. But yeah. So I, I won't be able to send them in, but they'll be fine, I think. So they'll take that. Uh, they're, they're suffering attrition, which is you know, to be expected. W why are you not attacking? Why are you not attacking? What's going on here? Oh, it's already been captured. Really? Where's the color? Like, no one the color changes. That is weird. Oh, so he actually took all of us. He should be quite close to winning. He is, 78%. We need to go in and take more. I need to take more than him. They're still completely confused. So we're going to leave this till next time then, guys. I'm going to have to stop it at this point. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you will come back next time. And we can finish off the War with Dawn. See if we can finally push a faction of Primogeniture. Which, uh, maybe not in our... Maybe not the best thing. Ooh, actually. It's gone down a bit. It may not be the best thing we can do, but... It does give us potential to take the Iron Throne in the future, which is uh, kind of what we're probably going to go for for now. But yeah, I'll see you guys then. Good night.